Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2019 with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. Right, and Happy New Year to you as well. Um, right, it's harvest time. We'll be... I, i done a harvest off screen, I will admit. Uh, I've done one which was the OSR, but I've got some soya beans to do today. Not, I don't own them. This is called soya beans or soy beans. Either way, let's uh, turn some lights on this thing. Right, uh, where's the header? Uh, it's over there. Right. Let's use cheat cam. Attach. As you see, I've not yet repaired this thing. It's literally, I think it's on like 2 or 3%. It's beginning to show some signs of wear and tear though. Where did I see it? Um, let's quickly just get out and turn the torch light on. I'm sure I've seen it on like edges and bits like that. Bits and pieces looking. It's covered in mud now, which is a bit of a shame. But you might see a bit more as it gets um, um, completely knackered. But look, look at the state of the header. Look, I'll come around to the side here. The light's freshly, brandly clean. Um, look at the state of the paint. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this in this state. Um, so again, it looks gives it that used look. Um, you know, about sort of like I don't know what farmers. I don't think farmers would constantly respray their headers purely because of the cost of it. They'd fix them and make sure that the the, um, the, the parts, the, the cutting blades, are sharp enough, and the tongs are doing what they're doing and all the bits and pieces are doing what it's ought to be doing rather than just doing nothing but I just don't think they would bother respraying it I don't personally believe they would I don't think they'd benefit them by having it look the only thing they could put, I guess the only thing it would produce is the, the blades from rusting or the Items from rust and hands and paint on it. Line this up nice and straight. Let's open it up. Let's line it up. Right. And let's hire it off. Um, I sold a bit of, um, I think, what was it, what did I sell, some wheat, barley, maybe some barley, yeah, I think it was the barley, uh, I've kept some of the oat back, just for the horses, uh, we still got OSR to sell, um, so if push comes to shop I can sell that, I've still got a tiny bit of corn from uh, when I bought the, sort of like the lands initially. I'll leave that again in there because it's just hardly worth selling at the moment. I sold off some milk, but we def I bought some more cows. Um, so we've got a few more cows in the in the uh, pen now. As they will magically disappear again. Moo moo, moo moo. Right, I don't. I don't know if it's a glitch with this, um, or whether it's this mod or what. But the cows don't seem to get dirty with this with, with this thing. Some people think that's a blessing in disguise. In a sense, I do actually. Um, but the people wants to keep it realistic. People are like, no, I don't like that barn or that stable. The horses are doing well. Um, I've been like keeping. Sort of tabs on them daily, um, and I've been sort of riding them daily. If I go to the, I still I've renamed one, but I haven't renamed the other. I've renamed um, 
the black horse glitch. Um, Odin, <laughs> excuse me, Odin is still called Odin. Um, four is obviously four. Uh, I might, I'm thinking I might either rename the horse Coffee or I might rename it, rename it um, Gizmo. Gizmo or Simone, one of the two. Coffee, Gizmo or Simone. That's the, it's like the uh, names I'm thinking in my head. Right, anyway, let's, the, so the cows are sorted. I've still yet to find a mixed feeder, so we're still doing it the traditional way. I think I've still got some mixed feed in, in this thing over here which is actually still mi is still mixing even though there's nothing in it it's in the meat right anyway I digress let's let's jump into the tractor it's got the trailer still attached to it there we go So how did your uh, we uh, sorry how did your uh, New Year's go, peeps? Did you have a good one? Did you go and watch some fireworks? Did you go to London or do something more locally, or just spend it with your family or friends? I was working, so. I didn't get well, I got to see it in, but. I did have a couple of drinks early that morning though, after finished work. Right, that's I'm gonna bring it up to this end of the Yeah, anyone else had that same problem now since the update the grass doesn't get crushed down? Now let me know in the comments down below, peeps. I want to know if it's something which I've done to the wreck that, or whether it's the case it's just something which giants have done to stop it from being crushed. There's nothing in the options for get allowing grass to be crushed or not. That's off in a way, that's not a great deal I can, I can try, what I could do is we do potentially need some more, how are we doing for our levels of grass and stuff? Um, right, okay. We could do with a bit more. We've got plenty of straw, um, grass, and hay. There's a fair amount of each in both, but I might just do another grass cutting run. Well, I'm all, actually, know what I could do. I know exactly what I could do. We could muck out the, um, the chickens. They need mucking out. I might actually take some of the eggs to sell as well. I've taken the, because I, with the settle point, I notice once it gets, sort of like it, if I jump over here, once it gets to four, five boxes, that's it, it just stops producing. It doesn't say no more space on the, um, on the uh, point though, so I don't know what that's all about. I also tried to fix the um, dead zone on this on on the settings for this wheel, but again, ever since the update, even though I've put the dead zone to zero, it's not. It still feels like it's got a bit of a dead zone. I might see if there's a way of reducing, um, well, decreasing it on my um, Logitech profiler. Oh, I've driven too far.
Right. Let's grab the forks. Oh, I'll save that front loader attachment from over here. I don't need the forks. Oops. Crash bang and Wolpsky. Attach. Put the old beacon on, I guess. Make sure the beacon is on. I've seen a rather interesting mod for this actually. I might I'm too minds whether to do it or not because it's not my usual usual sort of mod showcase. Normally I do um placeables as you guys know. This one's more of a container sort of like um feet well a container. A pack of containers actually with um all the attachments you'd need to Sort of like um, to carry them around. I initially, it, it is a port over from 2017, admittedly. Um, the guy that made them, and I actually had them as a mod for a while, and I played about for them for a few hours. But they, they again, they're handy, but they're not. Right. Oops, I think this is getting stuck. Yeah, it was getting stuck and all. Alright, let's try and do it this way. Did I get it all in one hit? I did. I must be getting good, peeps. Right. If I back out of here and now try not to run into my own house and not run the dog over at the same time. Dogs run under the tractor, yeah. Not run over the dog at the same time. I wonder if it's stupid enough to run under the tractor as I'm standing there. Whoops. Didn't expect it to do that. There we go. Cool. Done. That's them cleaned. How much are the eggs? Are, is it really worth my time selling them yet? Let's have a look. Let's drop that off first. Let's check what the other du dude's doing as well. No, it's not even remotely full yet. Much are the eggs? Uh, where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? I'm guessing that's price per liter of eggs. I couldn't see anyone buying an egg for over two or just nearly three grand an egg. They'd be one. They'd be Fabergé eggs if that was the case. Um, well, wow, yeah, see, look, three and a half grand. Grain elevator, east. I'm guessing that's per litre of eggs. I'm guessing it must be. Let's get the pickup truck. Let's go and find out. Let's turn some lights on, I guess. People got a chance of seeing me coming.
path or there's a path down here somewhere. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you play about the dead zone, it still has a dead zone. I'll have to turn the wheel at least a quarter turn. It kind of reminds me of Fernbus, actually. Fernbus has got the same sort of problem. Right. Let's pull that up to there. Actually, the, the, the eggs are funny enough, they're in the garage over here, so. Almost snagged on. Didn't see anything I could. Oh, I forgot there's. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a trailer. I'll have to drop that off. I've got the trailers on the back of this. I'll drop that off here. I wonder what I was. snagged up on. Right. Let's pull over here. Oop, easy. And then back up into the garage. Without too many dramas, hopefully. Now is X unfold to see. Yeah, cool. Jump out. Let the engine take over anyway, because the point of switching it off. Let's see how much money we get for these boxes. Very few boxes. Whoa, don't throw them around, let's smash them up. On the back, please. Oh, this is because my head is clean. Mm. Fine, I'll park it over here then, where it's out the way. Wow, I jumped that to the bar. Really? This is why... I wish you could spin the box round in your hand, you can't. You just... Uh, come on. I'm sure there's probably a mod where you can do that. I'm fine. I'm going to put it in lengthways then. I don't think it's the most practical way of putting it in, but it worked. Right. Sorry, peeps, if you think this is a bit repetitive, I won't do this again. If you actually enjoy this sort of side of things, let me know. I could just throw them in the back, but I'd rather stack them if I can. Otherwise it just gets gets corrupted, it gets all out of the place very quickly and it just looks really rubbishy and you won't be able to pack as many if they're all just thrown. And all the eggs will be smashed as well. Not if they're not already smashed. Doggy dog. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Right. I'll leave them. Actually, I might as well take those boxes with me. See, let's turn the light out on that fence. Before it rains the battery down. I don't understand why it doesn't let you turn the lights back off once the engine's off. 
What's that old um, combine doing? I think it's got full yet. It's still moving. Wow, I didn't even... Mm. Okay. Well, if the eggs weren't broken before, they are now. Right. Do some broken eggs, doggy. I might call him Snoop. Right. Strap. Strap. I don't know if it... I, sus I suspect it probably is holding them, but... Put the locking script into them. Should be holding them. Yeah, they're not moving around, so. Oh, they are moving around. Oh, well, that's useful, isn't it? Wait, locking script always used to. Um, let's just unstrap them. See if I can refasten the straps. Volcar. See if that makes any difference. I doubt it. It does. I don't understand how that makes. Oh, it doesn't. Oh well, they're gonna get smashed up. Seems legit. Right. And how's that combine doing? It's almost full. So we'll get the tractor behind it. Right, uh, let's go back to the pickup. And where was the highest price for eggs? It was Grain Elevator East. Right, okay. Where's that on the map? Should be this way. Yeah. There. Right, okay. Nice easy one to go and do actually. As long as the eggs don't come flying out. Right. I wish the auto indicator would come out and cancel that because that's just annoying. Right, so we need to go. I think there's a quicker route actually. If I go down behind, if I remember rightly, it's around the back of the um of here, isn't it? If we go down here, it more or less takes you straight to it. Lead foot strikes again. It's like a hurtling down the road at a stupid, ridiculous speed. Yeah, I think this is the way that you go. And it goes under a bridge, which does. And then you use a roundabout. Oh, 
Uh. Uh. Is it here? I'm sure it's here. Are we close? No way remotely close to it. In fact, I think I'm on the wrong side. I oh, know I wasn't far out. It's just the other side of this. Um, yeah, I forgot. It's just over this over this other bridge, isn't it? I'm just gonna cut across there. I think. I kind of. I don't see why they make them junctions like that. It makes them so awkward. Because you have to sort of like. That was more or less implying the only way you can go in on that junction is if you're on the other side of the road coming in. Gotta be careful with the train. That's scooting around somewhere. And this doesn't have any train. Oops. Jumped out the truck when I went in too. Smash. Right. Will this directly tip these out? Yep, it does. Oh, wow. That is pretty impressive, actually. I think it's per box. It's like two grand per box. Yeah. Well, no, it's 400 and... I said 400 and 72. It's made us some money. straps off. This time I can just back this thing up. And I found this the other Where's the one? What did I saw the other day? This thing. Yeah, they, that cargo container pack's a bit like these. You've, got, you've actually got con cargo containers like that. And you can fill them up with grain or whatever. I was thinking about doing a mod showcase on it, but I'm not entirely sure if I should or I shouldn't. But I saw another one of these by the station and I was just like, what on earth is it? It looks like a ticket sales point, but what would this be doing here? The answer's on a postcard, kids. Right. Let's back up on the... Not trying to hit anything on the way out. Going back is going to be relatively straightforward and quite easy. Right. Get us back to the farm. See how the um The combine's doing, and I'll probably leave it at that. So that's helped. God, this steering's doing my nothing. It's helped, that's helped give us a bit more money. Come on, dude. Floor it. I'm not such thing as police on this. Break the speed limit, you know you want to. Right. Park oh, this over here for the time being. Actually, I'll go and grab that trailer. I'll take that back to the milk dairy.
roughly should be there, he says. I like the fact that you can, yeah, see the light, uh, the um, reverse light. See, reflects, it reflects it off of the, so there is a bit of a mirror image on the actual tanker itself. I just thought it's just generic, but there is some sort of, I guess it's for lighting. Yeah, look, my light is floating in air. I'm not standing in front of this tanker at all. There's a field, a reflection of a field on there. Well, that's all about. How's that combine doing quickly? It's done, right. Let's move it on to the next field then. Move it on to the next field. I can start on that and we'll get one of them out with the manure spreader and start fertilising and getting the field ready for the next seed to go in. Off you go, bud. Let's see how that looks like it's at 0% now. Let's have a quick look at the tract. No, it's this one. Uh, maintenance down. Yeah, I'd say that's now at 0%. Oh, yeah. I think we can see some damage there, maybe, on the bottom. Yeah, around the edges, maybe. Let me see. Some damage. Might potentially also reduce its um, its harvesting speed, perhaps. But I'll leave it at that, peeps. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the uh, episode. If you did, um, please feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy it for any reason, I need to start the engine. Please feel free to dislike, but please leave a comment down below to why you didn't like it. So at least then I can try to improve in the future. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to uh, share. It helps me a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you see future episodes of this, or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so then you're informed as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.